And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Joke's on you! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Oh, here it comes! Another one bites the dust to the champ. Here's the pin, title on the line. There's the pinfall, and the victory. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So, I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. 
I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we want to help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help. So we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it going to be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. 
home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. Welcome to a very special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. I have no doubt that you do. Welcome, everyone, to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. victory. Welcome to another episode of Women Who Fight, where we have some huge news to discuss. That's right. After nearly 12 years of doing this show, we finally moved out of your parents' basement. Yes, we have recently upgraded our studio, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. Oh, I really hope your mom can still bring us snacks here. Yeah, we'll have to give her a security badge, but shouldn't be an issue. That's right, people. We're security badge big now. Okay, all that aside, what I wanted to discuss uh, is the yeah. huge development that MMA star, actress, and international recording artist Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live, <laughs> she called it. <laughs> it really has been an insane week as our worlds of MMA mm -hmm. and WWE are intersecting like we could have never imagined. Yeah, and I, I don't think Red and Trey ever imagined this could happen either. I, I mean, we've documented their history with Brooklyn, th this can't be good for them, right? I'd like to give Brooklyn the benefit of the doubt, but her first order of business as GM was putting Red's title on the line in a best of five series against Becky Lynch and her savages. Yeah, give her credit for making an impact, I guess, but <laughs> she put Red in a very tough spot. Yeah. But I, I want to look at the bigger picture. You've been covering Brooklyn since way before anyone in the mainstream knew yeah. about her. Do, yeah. do you think this could ever lead to her competing in a WWE ring? When it comes to WWE and Brooklyn, you never say never. I mean, given some of the things she said in the past, I never thought she'd even attend a WWE event, let alone become GM. But if I had to guess, I think she's just doing this to get under Red and Trey's skin. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait and see how that transpires. But first, we have the best of five series coming up. Mm -hmm. We'll break down the matchups after this. Hey, call your mom to see if she can come down here. I'm craving her butterscotch cookies. I'll do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. 
It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house? Come on, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house! Yeah, much better. You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you and this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right, I said SmackDown. Happy? Big E goes for the big ending! Sheamus counters! Road kick! This could be it! Sheamus gets the win, more importantly, the series is now tied up in a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her savages, but now it's a whole new series. You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry, because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? Uh, I uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunn doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. and her savages. This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. You got this. Then after that, well... You got this. You've got a lot of nerves showing up in our locker room. I'll go wherever the hell I want. Especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I guarantee I'm gonna beat you and tie the series up. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Nah, nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off. Look at this. Strong takedown there. Shoulders down. One, two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, the Queen. She really took control of this match. I wanted to let you know the guys and I got together and decided that if you pull off the series win, We'll consider calling our team the new Trey like you suggested. Really? That's awesome. 
Sure, I mean, we probably won't team up that often or ever again after this, but still, the offer stands. Oh, well, thanks. Go get him, champ! I'm not trying to make you nervous or anything, but it's all come down to this. Match five against Drew McIntyre for the championship I've held for a record-setting two and a half years. Well, when you put it that way, there's definitely no pressure. Sorry, it's just hard not having control over what happens, but I know you can do this. Just treat it like any other regular match. Sure. I mean, that might be a little difficult with the giant stack of pancakes and grass-covered ramp, but I'll try my best. That's all I can ask. Are you happy? There's a chance I could lose my title without ever being pinned. If it makes you feel any better, Becky Lynch promised me that no one from her side will get involved in the final match. Oh, she promised you. Then I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Where do they keep the popcorn around here? I don't normally put trash food in my body, but I think watching your team let you down is worth an exception. Trey and Drew trading blows. What a headbutt by Drew McIntyre. And the ref goes down. We've seen just about everything tonight. Wait a second. Is that who I think it is? It's Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently, he hasn't gotten over that. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. I know, after all this time, I never thought we'd see him again. And he just broke Trey in half. And now Drew McIntyre covers Trey. It's all over. Becky Lynch and her team has won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's gonna throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red's championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and I'm coming. For you. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed. <laughs> and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE.